Hey YouTube! So this week we're going to be doing the second installment of the IPA alternatives for resin printing. Um, here I have two that were suggested by you guys. One is Fabuloso and the other one is Simple Green. Um, also, I've seen a few other YouTubers um, use this one so I wanted to give it a try as well. See how it works for us. Uh, Mr. Clean. And then this was my choice. Um, I was walking down the chemical cleaning aisle at Home Depot and I found this Formula 88 uh, cleaner and degreaser. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and test all of these. I have um, four models that I made for my computer, and then I have four miniatures that I printed as well that have a decent amount of detail. So we're going to see how those come out. Um, this week I decided I'm not going to be using the ultrasonic cleaner. Not everyone has one, so I'm just going to use the uh, strainer pickle bucket, um, put the chemicals in there, give it a quick shake, James Bond style, and then we will be washing them off with warm soapy water, rinsing them again in clear water, um, and then we'll be putting them to cure, and we will see what, exactly how each one of these uh, performed. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into that. That one's flying. Alright, let's go ahead and find those couple and then we'll go ahead and get started again. Alright, so I found all the models. Um, like I said, I just took the screwdriver and on the bottom of each one. So this one has one score mark, two, three, and four. Um, you probably won't be able to see them at the distance, but I'll zoom in and make sure you all can see them. So for number one, we're going to start off with the Formula 88. Number two, we're going to go to Fabuloso. Number three will be the Mr. Clean, and number four will be the one that we're already pretty sure works, Simple Green. Um, and then, like I said, we'll just put these side by side with the other ones. I'll just keep them together. I don't want to mark them up because I'm going to be putting them on my computer, um, but we'll just keep them in place. And then when I pull them out, we'll uh, cure them all together so we'll know exactly which ones went with which. Let's go ahead and start with that. Perfect. Alright, the parts have all been rinsed off in their respective chemicals. Now we're just going to go ahead. I have a container full of uh, warm soapy dodger soap. I'm just going to dip them off in there. Give them a little light agitation with the toothbrush. Soft crystal toothbrush. I want to be delicate because this miniature has a lot of like little horns on our crown. Um, so you don't want to go too crazy with it. So there's the first one. This one, don't even need the brush on these. So we're just going to go ahead and do that for each one. Give them a quick rinse and clean water, and then we'll throw them in the curing. Okay. 
now they've all been washed off in the soapy water. But this is now just clean, warm. Tap. That's what I call high quality H2O. Tap water. So we're just gonna go ahead and quick shake around. Do this to each of them. Um, I do like to let them fully dry before I cure them. Um, just to make sure there's no like residual water or soap on there. Um, I have had in the past where that happened. I ended up with a uh, white chalky substance on my prints. So I just like to uh, leave them on a paper towel, let them dry for maybe an hour or so. Uh, depending on the model, I might you know, force it dry with the paper towel. Um, but I, there's no way to do that with all these little nooks and crannies. Um, and I deliberately picked the model like this so we'd be able to see if there was any resin left. I filled in any of the stuff, left some dull spots or anything like that. Um, I figured a detailed print like this would be a great, a great test. So now we got all these. They're all rinsed off. They're all very clean looking now. Um, we won't know for 100% until it's cured. Um, so we're just going to go ahead um, and leave these two dry in the, in the air. Uh, for probably 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my son his breakfast, and then we'll be back, and we'll... Uh... Alright, so just so we all understand, um, these are in the curing station. Um, the printer part that goes with each corresponding one is to the right. So this is number one, printer part, or computer part number one. Number two, computer part number two. Number three, computer part number three, four, and four. So we're going to go ahead, get them cured, and then uh, take a look when they're done. All right, here we go. They're all out of curing. Uh, here's number one, Formula 88. Number two, Fabuloso. Number three, Mr. Clean. Number four is Simple Green. So now we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at each one. All right, here's the number one. You can see in the bottom there's one score mark right there. This one was cleaned in the Formula 88 degreaser from Home Depot. I'm actually very impressed with how clean it is. There's still a little bit of a shine back there. Um, the base looks good. Sorry, my camera doesn't seem to want to focus. Great details on the face. It doesn't look like anything was blurred away by like excess resin that wasn't washed away. Um, just a tiny bit of shine that was left, which quite frankly could have been for me rushing. Um, but overall, very happy with the results of this print. And then for the spacer, um, pretty much the same goes here. Come on, focus. Um, it doesn't look like any, any of the details were lost. Looks very, very nice. And uh, just again, just a tiny bit of shine, but that was probably from me rushing a little bit. So now on to number two, which was the Fabuloso. Again, number two, two marks. Um, looks very nice, very good details. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this one. I think there might be a little bit more of a shine left than on the other one. Like her chest is really shiny, her dress is really shiny, and there's a little bit on the base, which um, is all indicative of a tiny bit of resin being left. Um, but I don't see any of the details that were dulled, and overall I'm very happy with the way this one turned out as well. And then for the spacer, pretty much same story. Um, right there, right above my, my nail, you can see there's a little bit of extra shine compared to the rest. Um, and I want to say that's probably the only difference between number one and number two. Um, number three was Mr. Clean. Again, as you can see, there's... It's hard to see the third one, but there's three lines there. Um... The base looks very good. A little bit of shine on her shoulders, but all the details look great. Let's see if I can get a close up of the face. You can see her nose, her eyes, her jawline. Everything looks really good here as well. And then, again, this part from my printer, or my computer, sorry, looks very good. This part, I would say it's probably tied with the first one. 
a little bit better than the second and probably on, again on par with uh, the Formula 88. And then last but certainly not least, Simple Green. So, nice close up here. Um, I want to say this one has the most amount of shine left, but at least it's even. Um, the base looks decent, but there's a little bit of shining, a little bit of leftover residue at the bottom of her dress. Um, and then just like everything has a little bit more shine, so there was just like a very thin film, I would say, of resin left over, but still very acceptable. And then this is the part from my computer again. I would say this one's probably slightly worse as far as residue than the Fabuloso. Um, and then just for comparison's sake, I think the Simple Green is actually on par with the Mean Green. This was the model that I had from the Mean Green. Everything looks great, but there's a lot of shiny, so there's just like ever so slight amount of resin left. Um, and then on this one, there was actually enough to slightly dull some of the features on the steps. But still, those are both very acceptable uh, alternatives to IPA. Um, personally, I think it's a tie between Mr. Clean and the Formula 88. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think. But I don't think you're going to go wrong with any of these four choices. They're all significantly cheaper and easier to find than uh, IPA is at the moment. Um, and you don't have to worry about what strength. For instance, if you find IPA right now, you might only be able to find 70%. But all of these are going to be the same percentage. No matter where you find it, when you find it. So you don't have to worry about that, uh, that variable. So yes, like I said, very happy with these results. And we're going to go ahead and get to the conclusion. All right, so that's going to go ahead and conclude our video this week. Um, I hope you all enjoyed um, being able to see these alternatives. Again, if there's anything else you'd like me to try, let me know. I'd be happy to do a third installment of this series. Um, again, I think, to in summary, that the Mr. Clean and the Formula 88 both did very well. And then the Fabuloso um, came as the second place. And then third place would be the Simple Green, which I would say is probably on par with Mean Green. Um, so my go-to personally is going to be either the Mr. Clean or the Formula 88. But like I said, please let me know in the description what you, or in the comments down below what you thought. And I'd be happy to hear it. Um, if you like seeing this kind of content, make sure to let me know. Give me a thumbs up, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you know, I'd love to hear what you want to see in the future. As always, hope you enjoyed what the chef had to cook for you today. All right.